I want to say to you as a husband, there are different levels of giving up that happens, several levels. The worst case, I'm going to start from the worst case is you're divorced. You are divorced. So she gave up on you and divorced you, but she's not remarried and you have children together. Every single one that I'm going to mention today, there's hope of recovering the marriage. So if your case is not as bad as this, then your hope is better. She has filed for divorce. Um, that she has been planning on for at least two years. So usually before your wife will file for a divorce against you, he would, would have been planning it for, for a while. And so if that has happened, it's bad, but it's not the worst. You can still recover that. She has moved out and rented her own place. It's not as bad as a divorce, but it is bad all the same, but it's not the worst. So there's always hope. She's moved in with another man. She knows she's in sin, but she doesn't care. There's hope. She has moved out, but she's staying in a temporary location. There is hope. Yes, when she's staying in a temporary location, there's still hope of bringing her back home. She has moved to the guest room in the same house. That's still giving up. Uh, she's still in the same bedroom, but she says she's tired and unresponsive. So this is where many people, I hope many people would start taking note. When she's still in the same bedroom, but she's complaining that I'm tired. When she says that, she doesn't mean she's giving up. She's not reacting to you, but she's still in the same play room. She's still in your bedroom. She has not given up. She's just trying to get your attention. All right? right. And then the last one is intimacy is reducing fast. And she's asking to see a counselor. If you can pick it up from here, if you can take note that she's really frustrated at this point and you work hard on on the things I'm going to share with you today, you will recover your marriage way faster. If you are at the worst case of that, what I just shared with you, where you are divorced, but she's still there, you're still communicating and you have children together, there is still hope. Now, what do all of this mean? Why would your wife say she's giving up? Because she doesn't feel safe with you. In her mind, in her brain somewhere, she's she has said, I'm better off on my own, alone, or with someone else. She's made up her mind. She's convinced that being with you is very bad for her. Dangerous for her, dangerous for her children, dangerous for her health, dangerous for her future. And she has concluded that it's better to be alone or to be with someone else. In fact, she has tested it. Maybe you have had to travel a few times and she feels that I've, I'm way better off when this man is not here. I'm way at peace when this man is not here. And that's why she has given up on you and she has moved out. The good news is that we can change that. We can turn that around. The bad news is that you got to work. The work is simple. It's not so difficult, but you got to do it. Now, what is the source of all these problems? Where do they come from? What are the complaints that your wife may have against you? Number one, lack of emotional connection. When a woman doesn't feel connected to her husband, she is going to feel frustrated because women love emotional connection, not all. So when I say your wife, I mean most cases. That's where the problem is. So we, when you cannot connect properly emotionally with your wife and she's trying to do so, after a while she gets very frustrated and she'll conclude that there's no way that she can continue with this kind of life where she cannot, she cannot feel free to speak with you and enjoy fellowship with you or connection with you without you getting into an argument. So lack of emotional connection where she has to tell you everything and, and no matter what she says, you find fault in what she says. And that leads to frequent argument, a terrible, communication so when there's communication problems when she's she's make cry, trying to joke with you you're angry when you are trying to joke with her she's angry when you are when when you say what you want he doesn't understand uh, she doesn't understand you and when you say what you want she gets angry when that happens so often the wife feels that this is a problem infidelity is also another one of course if you're cheating on her she doesn't want that she nobody can trust nobody can have a great relationship when there's no trust 
this lack of support of appreciation so when your wife feels that she's not being supported in a in a work in a business she's going to begin to feel like leaving you or she's not appreciated for the work that she's done uh now of course if this is the only problem and every other thing works that, that will not lead to breaking your marriage but usually they all add up these things add up so there's difference in interest so you're just living two parallel lives and eventually you're just diverging and event and before you know it the marriage breaks there's abuse or verbal abuse physical abuse or toxic behavior um always shouting and angry all of that can destroy marriage lack of physical intimacy if you're not connecting with your wife physically eventually she's gonna get tired and give up on you uh, where there's different family pri priorities the way she you want you want to take care of the children is not the way she believes it should be done um the things that you want to spend money on is not what she wants to spend money on and if this continues and uh, you are spending the money and she's trying to save it or you are saving the money she's trying to spend it it's going to break the marriage and many other things addictions is another one so all of these problems add up they and they come from one source not knowing how to love god's way there is a way that god has designed love to be and many people do not know how to do so when you don't know how to love god love the way god designed love you will run into all of these problems that's why people will not communicate properly that's why people would uh, be unfaithful to one another it is all from love but we don't know love so we define and i shared that with you before most people just define love as an emotional bond, but that's not how God defines love. God defines love as a desire to for the best in the other. So when you desire the best in your spouse, when you desire your wife to be the very best that God designed her to be, that's what love looks like. I, the way I've written it and, and, and I call it is selfish desire to find someone who will make me happier and hopefully be happy with whatever i'm able to give to that so we that's how we define love we don't want to say it that way but that's how it that's how we express it you want someone that will make you happy but you hope that that person will not demand too much from you so you want to be happy but you don't want to be uncomfortable that's how you call love and the same your wife is doing the same to you she wants to be happy but she doesn't want to change much. So we don't want the discomfort, but we want the result. And this is why marriages break down and struggle because we cannot handle the weaknesses of our spouse. We want all their goods, all their best, all their strengths, but we are so, so, so afraid or uh, we don't even want to know about their weaknesses, talk less of accepting them. And what is the way that God loves? while we were yet sinners christ died for us that's that's god's definition of love in other words god gave his best when we were at our worst and that's what love looks like so most of us do not know how to do that and because of that we run into this problem so your wife may have left you because of your weaknesses and uh, um, because you keep attacking her and doing several things that uh, you you may not be proud of i want to tell you why you behave that way or why men do that so that it's easier to solve here is what usually happens you want to love your wife you want your you you have this desire this strong desire to be admired by your wife every husband wants that you want your wife to look up to you to boast about you to her friends to to be so glad that she's married to a man who loves her and who is capable of doing all of these good things but then because she is broken she has her own issues her own baggages her own failures that she brings into the marriage she doesn't do that all the time and she may not even do that at all now whenever she doesn't do that whenever she brings her weaknesses into the marriage you will react and you react in one of these six ways i discovered I, I didn't come up with this list i found a book called real love by greg bear and these are the ways he articulates them and i think they're beautiful i've been 
thinking about this before until I read his book. And then I said, wow, I love the way he puts them. And so whenever your wife doesn't give you what you want, she doesn't act the way you want, you find yourself triggered. You automatically do this. You don't even think of which other, which of these habits am I going to use. You just automatically do this. You begin to attack her by getting angry, by shouting at her. You lie to her to defend yourself. Or you run away from her, you stonewall her, you shut down, you don't discuss uh, what's going on. You act like a victim. You tell her all the bad things that she's doing to you and not appreciating all the good things that you do. Or you try to bribe her with gifts or things every time you do that. Now, these things may feel good for a second or two or for a few days, but they eventually destroy your marriage. And that's how we got to where we are now.